Hi and welcome back. Today I will just complete the and this is the the final video for uh, <coughs> Oracle configuration uh, for uh, two nodes. So uh, so today I will just uh, I list down what I want to to finish in this video. Host name DNS host file final check just to make sure that's the host name. Uh, equal, equivalent to DNS and uh, host file and they are consistent so uh, also check the connectivity between rack 1 and rack 2 by Bing and then check also the DNS can resolve the names create the required directories set bath, bash profile and environment variables and then unzip the grid file uh, uh, compressed folder uh, to to install ASM. So let's get started. First, um, okay. I need root user, and uh, I need also Oracle user. First, I need just to cat. Sorry, cat the etc host okay the rack one rack domain okay or, or rack one it's okay here so you can also cat etc resolve also rack domain the domain okay Host name, the host name rack one, rack domain, and we am um, on the rack one. It's okay, also fine. So we check all of this. So let's go for second server or second node. Login. Okay, here I need just to cat. Etc. Etc. And then uh, hosts. Okay. Here it's not. Uh, okay, it's not edited. So I will uh, I will uh, edit the file. G edit. Etc. Host. So I will change this one to rack. Actually, I put it, but I configure the DNS to be a rack domain. So I don't want to change the DNS. I need to change this one. It's easy and better. So, um, okay, and that's it. Okay. Control S or save. Close. Now, cat again. Okay, done. Let's check the... Okay, etc. Resolve. Okay, rag domain. Okay, correct. Then also, let's... Uh, yes. Uh, we need also to check... Uh, okay, we check this one. Uh, host etc resolve and uh, the last thing I'll see what uh, actually yes and the host name I think host name host name it's correct okay but if this if this one is not uh, suited probably you can just do host but, uh, okay we need also uh, by a root user you cannot do it with high privilege user you can do like this host name ctl sit dash host name and then you can you can write this one track okay here and then you can come here and write host name ctl status here you can see the static Host name will change to rack to rack domain, 
and uh, that's it so we finish this one and okay we check the connectivity between uh, both servers we'll try to bing this one bing uh, sorry bing rack one okay rack one dot rack domain domain it's okay and this bring also the I was planning to write a script it would be easy but uh, you, actually I don't have time so and also it's good to show you how to do this manually to because this by this you can just troubleshooting was the issue in in Oracle installation uh, in future so this is will give you like an um, an advantage or a tools to how to uh, the, the needed uh, sorry the needed command line to troubleshoot the connectivity so uh, here uh, sorry uh, Bing let take this one copy it paste it it's okay, working. Uh, let take okay VIB. Yes, this will not work because I think it's uh, yes. But NS lookup rack one. Dot, uh, sorry dash vib virtual yeah it's fine but I think because uh, it's not installed uh, the software okay rack scan and let's look up for rack scan okay and I think it's round robin uh, Algorithm also applied for this. I'm sure. Okay, and uh, uh, Bing the same. It's not. It's not Binging because still the the clusterware and the or the grid infrastructure not installed. So uh, that's it. They are connected to each other. Then this one is done, and also by default also this done uh, because I tested for that. Okay, create the required directories. So I need just to apply script that cd. You, I think you need to be a, a root user cd uh, u01 okay ls minus l see if it's executable okay change mode then add 7 5 5 to create okay ls minus l i think now it's executable create ls you can see cd app uh, ls cd okay you can see now the director is inside okay we can just uh, cd i think we need one more okay now just i will get the script file to describe what happened okay i create this this is for grid infrastructure also I make directory for this also to be for database and I change the owner for Oracle and O install or Oracle install uh, group for this directory and then also I change mode to 775 you can see here minus L you can see here the owner is Oracle group Oracle install and app also changed for all of them it's recursively inside this one recursive inside 
the change the 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 owner and uh, change the the permission for uh, subdirectories also by putting minus r okay so that's it for rack two so we'll go for rack one um, okay i will just go for root user ls minus l i think i need to change the eyes okay here uh, i think i remove there this one is not okay so clear then ls minus l just to list all the needed directory uh you can see here i don't have execute permission on this uh on this uh, uh file so or script so i need just to change mode for create uh, sorry uh, change mode 755 create okay ls l so you can see i have right now the execute permission apply it ls so you can see app ls minus l see here change the permission for all of the, fi the file inside for oracle or install so uh, now you can see here it's uh, it's done this create the needed directory by script i will upload it um, upload it or uh, i can paste it i don't know if uh, youtube uh, allow for this kind of scripts to be uh, put as it in the description uh, below under the video i'm not sure but i will try if not you can ask me for these scripts and then i will can i can send it to you by email so set bash profile and environment variables so i can just okay i prepare a file i think it's here two folders uh, sorry two file uh, two files one for this one for uh, i will put it in the bash profile and this is an environment variables i need it so just first i need to be an oracle user and be in the oracle home bwd you can see oracle home so uh, there is a uh, nano uh, or I can open also a gedit is better graphical uh, so graphical editor and dot bash underscore profile and then we can yes it's running so let's see here I will paste it here but let me just first yes i think it's better here okay uh to make sure but just a uh, few things okay note here rack domain rack one okay and the uh, database as id should be rack okay cdb uh, rack one it's okay and uh, that's it this is an alias for this files i think these files should be created to switch between two environment grid and database for oracle user okay so now i will save save and then we can just apply the the dot bash by dot by just typing okay let me just clear the screen to make it clear for you dot that's mean use this bash profile or apply the bash profile without exit from the terminal and uh, enter so you can echo dollar how you can test that uh, the oracle variables are applied to this profile you can just see like this uh, let's say sid so you can see it's uh, it's, it's applied for this session or for this uh, terminal uh, let's say home so it's uh, it's fine so g edit now we will apply the this one to switch between two environments so first one we just create the the grid environment okay then enter hit enter after hit enter you just need to copy 
this one okay and make sure we are working on node 1 node 1 and after node 1 if you are working in rack 1 you make sure that ASM 1 you are writing here just ASM 1 okay so go back here then we can just type save that's it other th other uh, the other file this one for dbn ls minus l okay g edit uh, db underscore env control v and then save and that's it okay clear the screen so how we can just uh, see if it's uh, applied and we can switch between the environment you just can write grid env okay hit enter then ca uh, echo to print oracle sid so you can see here when i just write grid env the sid changed to asm1 so let's change it back to database database underscore env let's see if it's okay it's working and we can switch between both um both environment okay grid environment and database environment okay let's apply the same idea on here i think i applied it before but uh, let's check to save time actually i don't want to uh, to waste or make this video too much long so uh clear and, and then and g edit um dot uh, bash i think sorry bash underscore profile yes i think i applied but you can see here change it to two because i'm working on second node okay and the database should be two correct and that's it so save okay after this let's check if we have the inf okay we don't have it so g edit uh, grid underscore uh, env and could be this one from here I prepare it control C control V make sure that I'm working on okay second node save this one and exit g edit same idea on end and could be this one but make sure that's the instance or sid is for database two or the second instance that's it uh sorry uh, i need just to switch as control v save and that's it clear the screen then I'm just going to apply the the bash first I think it should be should be applied because but I will apply it again mm, fine it's better echo dollar sorry, dollar oracle sid okay now we just want to okay pause okay and home good so grid grid env equal okay sid for asm2 host home name host name it's okay <clears throat> so we finish this one 
sorry, we finish this one. And we need also to just unzip the, the grid files to install our ASM. Actually, I did this before, just to save time, but I will show you how to do this through the command line. Actually, you need the software just only on one instance. No need it for two instances, just only for one instance. So I put it in the node one. So uh, on U01, okay, here ls minus l you can see you can uh, just apply this on on the for linux grid one first hit enter and then change it to the second one and hit enter i will apply it again in i will just clean the and okay like this and linux okay one hit enter after finished you can just change this to the second file and hit enter. When finished, when you ha you will have ls minus l grid. You have this directory, so you can cd navigate to the grid. Sorry, uh, to grid directory. Sorry, no need because it's not okay. Ls minus l. So next video will start from here. So, till that uh, day, uh, I hope you are fine and stay, stay tuned for next video. Thank you for watching and hope see you soon.